it's a couple of my friends 30th birthday and we've booked a really cool boat to stay on down at Shoreham by sea. We're staying on one of them called the Dodge and I think it will be an interesting experience so I'm gonna bring you along. The Dodge is pretty easy to find. The owner Hamish was there to meet us and show us inside. <laughs> this is really cool. After walking over his workshop boat we crossed the bridge and arrived at the Dodge. This is insane, man. This is crazy. Inside, Hamish showed us how to operate the main bed, the cooker, and how to access the deck that wasn't quite a deck just yet. Then it was time to grab our stuff from the car and have a little explore around the boat ourselves. It's a really crazy place. Everything's been like custom built and stuck together. I, I don't even know where to start. It was a mix of the surreal and the post-apocalyptic. Road signs that connected one section of the boat to another section of the boat. Central heating via radiators that were connected to a wood burner. It had everything you needed to survive a zombie apocalypse. Just push off the bridge and float out to sea. Looking around the boat, there was something to notice everywhere. Old mask. Like a propeller. Oh wow, that actually, I mean that seems fairly dangerous, that could fall out any time, it's actually got some notes in here. It was like a dystopic bohemian Noah's Ark, made from a collection of things that others would just call junk. So here's the bathroom, which actually has a bath in it, a uh, pump flush toilet, a shower, Ooh. a shower as well, with a door. I absolutely love this place, it's so interesting. The story behind these houseboats dates back to 1945 when decommissioned military ships were retired to Shoreham's tidal mudflats. Because the boats are boats and therefore waterborne, building regulations that apply on land don't apply here, so that's why these crazy creations exist. Walking along the path, there were all different types of boats. But the one thing that they all had in common was size and individualism. Customised inside and out to the owner's taste, the internal space would rival the square footage of many brick and mortar houses. Hamish, our Airbnb host, owns seven out of the 50 or 60 boats that are here. He's one of the central figures of this showroom houseboat collective and he lives on the impressive Verda, which is constructed out of seven or eight boats, as well as a bus and a Robin Reliant. The Dodge, our home for the weekend, is made out of an upturned lifeboat and a Dodge fire engine truck. These fantastic constructions reminded me of the time I visited Nimis and Arks in Sweden, before it was burned down. It had that same sense of unbridled creativity and intuition. A scattering of materials somehow bound together to create something familiar yet detached from reality. The monster in the fairy tale, the praxis of the anarchist, resistance to the violence of structure. Built into the Dodge and many of the other boats here is an authenticity that I crave. It's messy and it's patchwork and it's perhaps not somewhere I'd settle down, but it's a small triumph in the face of conformity. It's one of those little gems that you come across and then you're gonna tell everyone about. So I wanted you guys to see my experience here just off the cuff on the fly about what I've seen and, and how I've enjoyed it despite it being horrible weather. Like it's, it's freezing cold here at the moment, but we've had a great time. And it's my friend Goyle's 30th who is on the camera right now. So I appreciate you doing this Goyle on your birthday, but uh, yeah, if you've liked it, then just watch some more videos because there's loads more like this.